On a beautiful summer day outside of Ames, it's a great day to get into the fields to check on the crops. But even without a cloud in the sky, today's forecast calls for hail. We're applying uh, homemade hail, <laughs> uh, false hail to uh, corn. Researchers at Iowa State have designed a machine that can simulate a real hail event on the farm. To use it, they'll first need to stock up on ice. We have a machine that you feed it 20 pound bags of ice and it uh, shoots it at a high velocity and it damages the, the corn stalk, uh, hopefully the ear and um, leaves and just damages tissue, hopefully in a way that's representative of actual hail. And it's easy to see the type of damage that hail can cause to plants. Um, you can see how the ice has actually tattered the leaves here. ISU researchers are causing all this damage for a reason. They're hoping to study the destruction hail can cause to crops and then see how the plants recover. People wonder is, if I have damaged crops, will I have an increased amount of disease? And if there's a higher chance for disease, will applying a fungicide aid in the plant's recovery? There's a push right now for uh, certain kinds of fungicide to be applied after a real hail event in the field. And there's not a lot of information on whether that's going to be beneficial or not. We're trying to see, does it, is there any relationship between the fungicide application and sort of helping with that bruising or that injury on that stock? And you can't get that if you don't have the real ice cubes, you know, hitting the stocks. With all that stress to the plants, it would seem to make sense that disease would be more likely. But the study has found that that's not always the case. We track all the diseases after, after it hails, and what we actually find is in a lot of the hailed plots, you see less disease, which is a sort of um, against the intuition. The team is continuing to study the effects of fungicide on hail damaged crops, and the results could have huge time and financial implications for farmers. But so far, they've observed that corn and soybeans have been very resilient to severe hail damage. In our fields, you wouldn't be able to pick which ones were hail damaged unless, you know, except for they're a little bit shorter. As ugly as it is, you know, just give it a couple of weeks and you'll be amazed at how much it can bounce back. For Iowa State News Service, I'm Dave Olson.